All right, this is a part two to a two-part series. If um, you haven't saw the first part, you can go ahead and check it out. In this um, video, I'm going to pretty much be um, trying to cover um, sort of an overall review of the computer, um, upgrading it, and um, the performance doing um, video editing pretty much. Um, I got this computer to um, do um, high-dev video editing and just up front. It works perfect for me. So, all right, what you're looking at right now is on the left side is a I believe it's a mid-sized tower. It's a, a one of my older computers, a Gateway 831 GM, and um, on the right is my XPS 9000. This is a picture of it when I just took it out of the box, and you can see how um, much it towers over your regular size. Um, tower and you can look at a side view and see just how much um, it's bigger than um, just your regular size uh, uh, or mid tower um, whatever size it is but um, that's probably the biggest downfall to the system um, to dispel a lot of things that a lot of people said about this computer um, I don't hear any problems with the fan I mean when I first got it, I was looking to hear that, and sometimes when it's doing heavy processing, I would hear it go up just a little bit, but not to the point where it's like a noisy computer. I mean, I operated um, at night where no one's um, up, everybody's sleep, and I don't really hear the fan much at all. And if I do hear it, I mean, I got to get up on it to make sure that, you know, the fan is actually going. So that's not really a big issue. All right, this is the inside of the XPS 9000. And you can see right here the little memory slots. And this bar right here is kind of high up, so it's easy to put your six memory sticks in there. All up in there. Already got them. Mine's all the way filled up. Um the hard drive bays and if you can see it actually got them labeled and you got some other ones over here now these right here these little screws well I don't know if these are extras or what but there was two right there that I took off and installed my third hard drive myself which is right here and I just used those right there so I figured those are extra so that's cool and those these black ones they're not screwed into nothing and these four wasn't screwed into nothing so I used these two to just screw in my third hard drive I already bought it with two hard drives and it's real simple um, you just pop in your connector there into your hard drive and the other connector comes from the second hard drive so all the cords are right there uh, I switched on my sound card and I'm actually using the Delta 1010LT I know boo hiss whatever but the drivers are um, updated on in audio site and I pretty much download them and everything's worked the MIDI works the drivers work for the sound for Windows 7 so everything is good but um, you can see the little extra ports I have got if I can get out of my light, you got one, two, three, four. There's my heart, my graphics card right there, and my sound card, the Delta. So, okay, like I said, the upgrading was no problem. I just slid my hard drive in there and connected to, to the cables, and once I went to Windows 7 and um, initialize the drive it worked perfectly no problems I'm um, putting in sound card I'm mean, putting in cards sound cards when I switch on my sound cards this little bar right here kind of close the this little plastic thing holds and helps hold in the cards All I gotta do is this thing right here and it says push right there you just push it you just put that up and then you just insert put insert your cards and actually once you got that up this thing right here you just it's a thing right here that comes up and then one another one on the other side right there you just like uh, 
push them in and then lift this thing up and you just throw in your cards right there boom 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 and my sound blaster didn't even have a a screw in it like the sound card so I just put my other sound card in there um, I probably should put a screw in there but this thing is keeping it pretty secure right there so just put that down and everything is good I'm telling you I'm getting this side cover off is no problem I'm about to actually put it back on but pretty much just slides on right there real nice and good and it's like these two screws if you can see see that they just go one there one there so it's easy to get the machine open inside of it is straight easy to upgrade all right what you're looking at now is um the screen for vegas um pro 9 and this is what i do my video editing in and um this is what i use to edit my um the avchd are the .m2 ts files and um right now what i'm doing is i just loaded in the first um file which is the um, m2 ts and i'm playing it on the actual um playback um side and then to the left of that you're gonna see me drag in another um, um, high def clip in the trimmer and I'm simultaneously right now I'm simultaneously playing two different um, M2TS files high def files and um, the playback is probably not doing it any justice but when I did it live it was totally smooth no problems you see as, as quick as it, it was for me to just drag it into the, my timeline the first video and then the second video dragging it into the um, trimmer it goes I mean that smooth right now I'm just working with it you know splitting the um, video um, doing some slow-mo on um, the left part of the video over there and just kind of messing around with it and um, there's no jerking there's no bad um, play back I mean everything is smooth now this is when I first um, got the computer um, I don't have a lot of other software um, installed in it so um, um, it, it it may um, if you got a whole bunch of junk running in the background you may have some issues but I mean right now this is just kind of um, an example of um, it actually doing its thing I mean it's the playback is cool um, sometimes, um, I've had the computer now for like seven months and sometimes, um, if I try to do the preview or the playback in the most, um, best quality that it, it can be. And I generally have like a web browser in the back and probably something else. Sometimes it may skip a little bit, but if I just like just run Vegas by itself and, um, not do it in a total the best uh playback but kind of um dumb it down a little bit it's totally smooth so um and that's because i got a lot of extra stuff that's running in the background and i really tried to push this um system to its limits and um so far it, it works for me so um if you're into um high dev video editing um this system for me, the specs that I got, it works totally good for me. I am running a dual um, monitor system. It works great. Um, it's got the this particular monitor to have the direct um, HDMI um, connectors, um, um, but I mostly use the, um, what is it, the DVI to um, VGA kind of connectors. That might not give me the best um um, screen uh, resolution or pixels or whatever you want to call it whatever it is um, I will say this I'm running a dual monitor um, system um, and I give it an A plus